In the next three videos, I'll demonstrate how to get a high resolution image of a cross section surface. In this first video, I'll show how to get a first approximation alignment in immersion mode, also known as ultra high resolution mode. In the second video, I'll show how to perfect that alignment using the alignment rectangle technique. And in the third video, I'll show how to best optimize brightness and contrast, and then frame and capture the final image. So here I've just finished cutting a cleaning cross section at 30 kV and 30 picoamps on this specimen. And the last thing that I did is using the ion beam, I've milled two circles adjacent to the cross section surface. Uh, what that's going to do is it will allow me to use those circles for the first approximation alignment. A lot of times what happens is if you have a very flat surface after you finish the cross sections, you don't really have much to, to look at in terms of the alignment. Uh, the, the surface might be flat, and even if you get these uh, kind of right angles here uh, after cross-sectioning, they're not on the same focal plane that you want for your specimen surface. And even if you have some distinguishing features on the specimen surface, sometimes you don't want to spend too long focusing and perfecting astigmatism there because you don't want to put a lot of beam damage onto the specimen itself. So these circles will help us with that first approximation alignment, and I put them so that the back end of the circle is in line with the cross-section face, so that if we focus on the back of that circle, the little cross-section that it mills, will be able to be at the same approximate focal distance as the area of interest on our surface. Okay, so I'm gonna jump right into immersion mode, mode two. And first thing that I'll want to do is just adjust the focus so that I can get a reasonable look at my site. Here it is. I'll double click and zoom in. So here's one of those circles that I milled uh, using a reduced window. Put that around the circle and I'm going to go into full screen mode and adjust the focus. I can see some stretching there, so I have astigmatism, and I'll adjust the astigmatism. And the idea is that we can see some texture on the back side of this circle. So we can look at that and, and use that to help us with our alignment. So I'll iterate through a second time with focus and astigmatism. Okay, and then what I really want to do, anytime I'm in immersion mode, I know that I'm going to have a bad lens alignment. I can tell that because when I change the focus, my image is shifting on the screen. So that tells me I need to do a lens alignment. So from the beam control page, I am going to turn on modulator and change the dwell time to something that's much smaller so that I get a faster refresh rate. Now you can see my image is moving side to side here. I want to correct that using this lens alignment. I'm going to right click in here and select fine. That will, will allow me to more finely control this lens alignment. And so since it's moving side to side, I'm going to grab the vertical bar and move that left or right to try to minimize the X oscillation on the screen. So something like that is good for the X. Now I don't have any Y oscillation, but if I did, I would grab the horizontal bar and move it up and down. You can see as I do that, I induce a Y oscillation. So I'll bring it back. And here, basically it's just blinking in place, which is what we're looking for. So I'll turn off the modulator. And I want to note here that I did not go in and, and adjust the source tilt. I had done that in field free mode. When you jump from field free to immersion mode, it does not affect the crossover. Uh, so now that I've done the lens alignment, I should go back and adjust the focus and astigmatism again. I'll go to something like three or five microsecond dwell time so I can see that texture pretty clearly. I'll change my focus and my astigmatism. And with that, I have a very first approximation of my alignment that I can use and then perfect in the next video using the alignment rectangle technique.